Barcelona, the energetic capital of Catalonia, is a beautiful seaside city that proudly displays its beauty and sunny way of life. An attractive place features stunning scenery, stunning architecture, and outstanding cultural attractions. Naturally, the pleasant Mediterranean climate enhances the allure. Barcelona's evocative medieval neighborhood, the Bari Gatique, has an almost magical old-world feel, but its modernist architecture is what makes the city famous. With his cutting-edge surrealist structures, Antoni Gaud left a lasting impression on Barcelona. Several are on the UNESCO World Heritage List. After all their sightseeing, visitors would just want to unwind and enjoy the jovial atmosphere of the city. Visitors will appreciate taking strolls down La Rambla, where the residents congregate, sunning at the sandy beaches close to the harbor, and dining al fresco. Here are the top 10 most well-known and visited tourist sites in Barcelona for your visit. Let's begin with number 10. Museo Picasso de Barcelona. The Picasso Museum, which opened in 1963 and was named for a prominent local family from the 12th century, is housed in five ancient palaces on the Calle de Montcada in the Gothic Quarter. The five palaces on Calle de Montcada are noteworthy Catalan Gothic structures from the 13th and 14th centuries, and the street is recognized as a conjunto monumental historico artistico, historic artistic monument. Each building's architecture has a large outside stairway and a central patio. The museum's collection is dominated by works made by Pablo Picasso when he was still a young artist. The collection, which includes more than 4,000 pieces, showcases the artist's skills throughout his early years. An extensive collection includes works from 1895 to Picasso's Blue Period. Number 9. Casa Batlo. The UNESCO-listed Casa Batlo is one of Barcelona's most iconic modernist structures and yet another great god design. The spectacular palace was built for Josep Batlo I Casanovas, a textile producer, as a private dwelling. This fanciful structure resembles a castle from a fantastical fairy tale with its freely swinging curves and decorative exterior. The majority of the design elements are unique from previous architectural ideas. Swinging shapes that some would associate with vegetation and others with cave entrances frame the first floor window. Green, blue, and ochre-colored ornamental glazed ceramic tiles on the exterior add to the flamboyance. Similar to Casa Mila, the wave-shaped roof contains several elaborately decorated chimneys. Number 8. Park Güell, God's Surrealist Park. This lavish 19-hectare hillside park, which is full of color, happiness, and whimsy, has been listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Parc Güell, which Antoni Gaud designed between 1900 and 1914, has 8 acres of pure woodlands and 12 acres of groomed gardens with surrealist architectural features. The garden area is filled with magnificent fountains, viaducts, grottos, a colonnaded hall, winding staircases, and semi-closed conversation seats. Vibrant ceramic tile mosaics are used to embellish these inventive buildings. There are picnic spaces, as well as a magnificent terrace with sweeping views of the city and the water. The Gracia neighborhood in the city was a favorite of God's, and it was also where he lived. Number 7. Cathedral of Santa Cruz and Saint Eulalia. The Cathedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia is located in the heart of the Gothic Quarter on the Monte Tabor. With its intricately carved front, this ancient cathedral is a marvel of Catalan Gothic architecture. The altarpiece of the Transfiguration by Bernat Martorell, as well as numerous medieval altarpieces, and an amazing gilded and jewel-encrusted monstrance are among the great works of art found in the sanctuary. A gorgeous Gothic choir and keystones from the 14th and 15th centuries may also be seen throughout the cathedral. Many visitors are surprised to learn that the cathedral's cloister and garden are home to 13 live geese that represent St. Eulalia's martyrdom. The geese have a home in the cloister's pond. Medieval paintings are on display at the Cathedral Museum. Number 6. Palau de la Musica Catalana. Catalan modernist architect created the Palau de la Musica Catalana between 1905 and 1908 as a concert venue for the Choral Association Orfeo Catala. The UNESCO-listed structure is an excellent example of the lavish Art Nouveau ornamental style. The facade is covered with an abundance of fine ironwork, sculptural motifs, and elaborate mosaics. The concert auditorium's interior design is equally vibrant and whimsical. This beautiful theater, which is decorated with Art Nouveau floral and fruit designs, makes a wonderful backdrop for musical events. The Music Hall, which has a capacity of roughly 2,200, is the only auditorium in Europe that receives pure natural light during the day. Every surface of the concert auditorium's walls and ceiling are covered in striking artwork. 
Number 5. Bogotel Beach Within the boundaries of Barcelona's city limits is one of Spain's top beaches. Bogotel Beach is a popular destination for locals to socialize, relax, play volleyball, and windsurfing. Kayaking and kitesurfing are other activities. The sandy shoreline of the 600-meter-long beach is complemented by first-rate facilities like restrooms, showers, parking, a beachside promenade, snack cafes, and ice cream stores. To maintain the safety of the beach, there are numerous lifeguard towers. Number 4. La Rambla, Barcelona's social hub. La Rambla, a long tree-lined boulevard that splits the old town in two, is the center of Barcelona's social life. La Rambla runs from the Placa de Catalunya, where the stunning Romanesque convent of Santa Ana from the 12th century is located, all the way down to the port. This street is one of the most well-liked hangouts in the city because of its broad pedestrian pathways, which are surrounded by stores, eateries, and outdoor cafes. Many locals can be seen doing their regular shopping at the Mercat de la Boqueria during the day. Families and groups of friends stroll along La Rambla at night to take advantage of the open air and lively atmosphere. Number 3. Casa Mila Antoni Gaud's most well-known secular structure is the UNESCO-listed Casa Mila. Located in the example neighborhood off the opulent Passe de Gracia promenade, Casa Mila is sometimes affectionately referred to as La Pedrera, which translates to the stone quarry, because the structure resembles an open quarry. This extravagant modern home, constructed between 1906 and 1912, resembles a sculpture more than a structure. Every curvature on the natural stone exterior is complemented by rounded windows and plant-like metal balcony railings. The ornamental chimneys complement the roof's undulating shape. The building's entry is on the Carrere de Provenza, through a stunning wrought iron gate that opens to a courtyard inside. Number 2. Bari Gothic. The Gothic Quarter has served as the civic and spiritual heart of the city for more than 2,000 years. Although remnants of ancient Roman structures may still be seen here, the Middle Ages are best exemplified by the historical monuments crammed into this neighborhood. The Gothic Quarter's focal point is the Cathedral de la Santa Cruz y Santa Eulalia, which was primarily constructed during the 13th and 15th centuries. A network of lanes and cobblestone streets circles the church. Tourists will appreciate exploring the neighborhood's modest shops and eateries as they explore the neighborhood's limited pedestrian pathways. Visitors can immerse themselves in the enchanted atmosphere of a traffic-free medieval world by getting lost here. And last but not least, number 1. Basilica de la Sagrada Familia With its 18 spindly towers towering above all other structures in the city's northern region, the Basilica of the Sagrada Familia dominates its surroundings. Listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, this extraordinary structure is one of Europe's most unusual churches. This basilica was commissioned in 1883 as a neo-Gothic church by the renowned Catalan architect of modern times, Antoni Gaud. Instead of building according to the blueprints, he produced a notable example of his surrealistic Art Nouveau architecture. He didn't have any set plans in mind. Instead, he preferred to change and expand the plans as work went on. That's all for today's video. Leaving your feedback in the comment section will surely show your appreciation for us. Like and share the video. And above all, subscribe to the channel Travel Advisor.